Hi guys, Adam here. Welcome back. Um, so in the last video, we created these dates for our past 14 days graph. This can be as many days as you want. And now we need to get the data for that graph. And as I'm thinking more about this, I'm thinking why not add all of these potential metrics to, to our dropdown? I just did that. So now if I go to our data viz with our dropdown metric selector, those metrics will appear. And just in case I don't want this graph at some point, because I don't know, the more I think about it, the more I, I'm thinking about different strategies of accomplishing this. So this is gonna get really, it's gonna seem really complex, but it's actually really simple. So we're gonna go very slowly through a couple of steps. To get the data for this date, for this metric, we're gonna have to point to our table um, to get the data within our database for each of these metrics. And to do that, we have to use a lot of if statements. So I'm gonna start off by going equals if this, whatever this is, might as well lock it in. I don't, I don't really know. If whatever that is equals, oh my, I don't know why my cell is doing this. Whatever is in this cell, and by nature, because this cell is a dropdown from the reference, these those two values will they'll be the same. So if if that equals that, then I'm just gonna go back in here. Then we want to average average ifs TBL underscore daily stress. So if table daily name is equal to this person's name. And let's just throw, throw a caveat in there. Maybe table daily stress is not equal to blank. And let's close that off. Okay, so so far we have something. What we haven't considered is the date yet. So at the end of this formula, we go comma, and also if table daily date is equal to this date. I'm not going to lock this in. I am going to rock, lock the row number uh, in, but not the column, because then we could drag this. Actually, no, no, never mind. OK. so. There we go. So the stress on this date for Lisa Simpson was two. That's what we have here. Now, if I switch this in the data viz to sleep quality, if we go back to our formula, we're not going to get anything because we haven't considered the other metrics. So let me turn this back to stress for a second. And now we're gonna go through the rest of this. And we're just gonna do this a bunch of times. A lot of it is just copying and pasting. So I'm gonna remove that, do a comma, alt, enter, or go to the next line. You don't have to do it this way, but I like this for organizational purposes. I'm gonna copy what is above, control C for me, paste it beneath. And now I'm just gonna change this to C3. So now I'm saying if it's, if C3 is what it is, whatever is in the uh, our drop down menu, then I want to get the average of sleep quality with the same criteria. And then I'm going to do Alt, Enter, paste it again, and go C4, Energy. And you're going to see the colors kind of help you. Um, see, all right, green, I'm looking at C4. Okay, the metric I'm looking for is energy in my table. And we're just going to continue this process all the way down the list. So C5, we're going to look for muscle soreness. And let's keep on going. Down, paste, C6, looking for confidence. Alt, enter, paste, C7, we're looking for RPE. Alt enter, paste C8, and now we're looking for SRPE or duration, 
my apologies. I'll enter, paste, C9, and this is going to get very repetitive, but let's just go through it. And then we want SRPE. Let's just keep on going down the list. C10. It's nice to see those colors appear. We want the trap bar, trap bar deadlift. I'll enter if C11. We want some bench press. And I'll enter C12. We want jump height. And the last one, I'll enter C13. You want body fat. Don't, I would not change the order of these things in this list or you, things are going to get screwed up really badly. So now I can just kind of close this off maybe until the, the last parenthesis looks black and I see it. But before that, I'm going to go to the top and do my if error. So if error, if, and then uh, open parenthesis. If there's an error with all the stuff that I just said, any of that stuff, comma, I want it to be blank. Close the parenthesis. I click enter. The value doesn't change. And that's because we are on the stress value for our readiness picker. Now, if I change this to RPE, well, there's only a one RPE for that day. Let's try something. Uh, this probably won't work with bench press or jump height or body fat because it might not have been tested on that day. So I'm not going to do those, but maybe. Maybe confidence and see if it's any different. All right, we got a four. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this formula, paste it. Just make sure that the date H2. Perfect. Yep. Paste it and just keep on pasting it. Do not drag it into all of these cells that we have here. And the reason it's working is because the date is switching. That's what we did by locking the row um, and not the column, but everything else is remaining the same. So now this is that person's, uh, whatever we selected here, confidence for all these dates. Now, one thing that I think would be cool to do, because uh, this graph, maybe if it's just bars of, of this, it might not be that exciting. Maybe we can do a like a rolling average or something like that uh, over a previous number of days. The only thing with that is what that would require is, well, depends if we want to manipulate it or not. We could hard code it to say past seven days or 14 days or whatever we want. But I think it'd be cool to be able to ma manipulate that. So let's add in another kind of parameter here. Let's say rolling average days. Okay. And let's... Uh, you do similar type of stuff if you're into the acute chronic workload ratio stuff you can you take this concept and, and you can apply it there uh what we're about to do and i'm just going to put the number in i'm just going to put seven just so that there's something in there i'm going to copy this formula I, I might actually just copy all of these formulae and paste them down it's going to be exactly the same and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to move these over a row or a, a column so that I can just name thing. This is this is a score or day score. This is rolling ABG. Maybe I'll move this to there. I'll make all this kind of gray. Just again, it's just kind of outlining the the columns that are being used um, for this reference. Remember, this is a reference sheet. We're not using it for anything except for hoarding information, important information that we refer to. So. Now let's talk about the rolling average. Um, H2, okay, so what we'll need to do here is let's just do this to one cell and then we'll copy and paste that cell um, a bunch of times, just like we did the first time. So we actually don't need, like if we don't wanna use all this, let's just not use all this and just because it'll make more sense. The first thing that we're going to do is, and we can be kind of smart about this, is we can do a find replace. So one way to do that is I know that instead of the date being equal to H2 in this cell, 
I want it to be less than or equal to H2. That's the first set of criteria. There's going to be something else after that. But what I can do is since table daily date is only in here once per line item, I'm going to copy this, paste it outside. And I'm going to find, replace, and I already have it set up here. So table daily date, I'll just do it for, for, um, for sakes of it. And we're going to replace it with table daily date, quote, less than, equal to, quote, and. And then I'm going to highlight this cell here. I'm going to replace all. And now notice what happened in my formula. Now, now what we're getting in this cell is we are getting the average stress value or whatever the, whatever the value is here, what, the average confidence value for that person, Lisa Simpson, when the date is less than or equal to that date. But now we want to add to this. And one quick way to add to this is we can say, let's do this. Now let's replace this. I wonder if sometimes there's not enough room. We'll see if it works. And let me actually close out of here just to make it more streamlined. So now we're going to replace this with what it was before, but also comma table daily date comma quote greater than or equal to quote and h2 nope yeah yep that's right we're in h2 minus minus whatever the days are that we put in here um i didn't have a formula there but this is oh man i, I should just write it in the in the formula but if i do equals it'll let me there h18 Data of is h18 i'm just using that to copy this but essentially that's the cell that that we're looking for i'm gonna click, click escape and now i'm gonna paste that in and I'm going to lock this cell in. Click enter. So I'm replacing this with that. Find, replace. We already have it there, but let me just do it again. Copy this, paste it in. So we want to replace that with this. And all this is, is it says the same thing, but we extend it. So we don't want just less than or equal to this cell to get the average. We want less than or equal to this cell and also greater than or equal to this cell minus whatever days we put in to get a rolling average over that time period. And now I'm going to select this cell and another one and replace, replace all. And now that's what I have here. This is a rolling, well, it's not rolling yet, but this is a seven day average relative to this date. So we can tell that the confidence on this day was lower than the seven day average uh, prior to this date. And if I copy this, I'm just going to paste it, paste it, paste it. You, I think you can just highlight all the cells and paste it at once. So I did that. Now, what this will represent is a rolling seven-day average of that, of that confidence value. So that's pretty cool. Now we have a graph that will display, or we don't have a graph yet, but let's just do it really quickly. It might not look pretty, but why not? I'm going to do it in the data viz area. Uh, no, I'll do it here. Why not? So let's create a graph and you can do that by selecting any sort of chart. And I actually think, I think if you select your data, like I'm just going to select this, it might have good recommendations. I don't really know. Some of these, yeah, eh, I'm not liking any of these, but that's okay. We'll, we'll start somewhere. So I'll click okay. Now we have a day score and a rolling average. And the way that I change this rolling average to a line would be if I click on this bar here, change series chart, chart type, I'm going to go to a line. Now what I have is I have the, the value here, and I could add labels and stuff if I wanted to. Maybe I will. Why not? Uh, let's play around with the graph settings a little bit because it's fun. So again, I don't know how I'm going to brand this yet, so I'm not going to do any colors or anything like that. But what I will do is I'll remove these grid lines because I don't like them personally. 
and I'm going to format data series. And these things adjust the width, essentially, and the spacing of these bars. I'm going to make this zero, which doesn't do anything, but I'm going to make this, let's say, 100, which will make the bars thicker. And let's add, I don't know if they're going to fit, but let's add data labels. So now I have data labels. That's, that's just a number or the value that you'll see is 12, 9 is 10. 12, 9 is 10. I'm going to format these data labels by right clicking on them, format. I'm going to put them inside the base, or uh, maybe I'll keep them where, where they were because numbers can get really low. And yeah, maybe I'll just keep them there for now. The chart title, we can make that something dynamic, but for now, let's keep it as is. And I think that's that's going to be it for for this video. Uh, in the next one, or I'll copy this chart. I'll copy this chart. Let's say I like it, and I'm going to go into my data viz, and I'll just paste it here, so that maybe we can see some things. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now we have a rolling average over the past seven days is what we said. And this is just going to show you that we can have the graph on this page and still use the reference here. I'm even going to delete this graph. That graph is gone. Now if I change confidence to RPE, now we have RPE values on that bar and the rolling average is RPE values. And maybe I don't want the rolling average over the past seven days, I want over the past three days. Notice that line changes. So uh, if I choose one of these metrics, it might not work, right? Jump height or or uh, bench press because we may have not performed those activities in those past two weeks. So it doesn't really make sense to do it that way. But I threw them in there just in case you did want to look at them that way or you did collect them with that frequency. And if we change this date, I think it's the readiness date to, I think, when, maybe like 11-5-2017. All right, so we did one, one uh, bench press session then. But in any case, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next one, I think we're going to get do some more visualization with these KPIs and actually maybe just organize this thing and get it looking decent so that, so that we can kind of decide where to go from here. All right, thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.